Hello friends, how are you today? It's Winfred again and today we are going to learn how to make popcorns. Many of you have seen popcorn in, in shops sold like this and you have no clue as to what this is. Well this is popcorn and this is how it looks if you've not got it from the supermarket already packed ready for the microwave to pop. Now, if you're not going to prepare it using the microwave, this is an easier way of making popcorns in just a few minutes. Like about five minutes, you'd have yourself popcorns, tops. Now, first of all, when you get your popcorn, you sort it, making sure there's no dirty things. Now, the reason why I'm using this popcorn is it's what we have in stores. So if you go to a place and this is what they have, and you would like to have some popcorn, you buy it. Don't hesitate, it's still easy to prepare. You just have to do some work on it as opposed to the one that we normally get from supermarkets. Now the one you get from supermarkets already tinned for you is already pre-prepared. So what you do, if you find this in a shop, you sort it, removing all the dirty things because this is really raw from the garden just the way you get it from the garden is the way it looks so those who have never seen it this is how it would look you sort it and take out all the dirty bits when you're done you turn on your heat you turn on your heat like i've just done and then you pour them in an empty pan this is an empty pan i'll show you you see there's nothing in there so you put it on heat and then pour your popcorn. Now, it also depends on how many people you're making popcorn for. If you're many, you can make some much more than this. But if you're few, you can just make a little bit of popcorn. You don't need a lot because it will pop up and give you enough servings. You make sure you don't put the dirty bits because you, they will not rise anyway. They are not popcorn and probably also the old popcorns that you can see. Old by, I, by old I mean the black ones, the, the really, they, you'd see they would be different in color compared to the ones that are good. After sorting, you put in the pan and then you mix. You mix until you see they, they are starting to change color. This is to add on the drying, drying of your popcorn. Because sometimes because of the way you've kept it, it has gained moisture and it's not able to pop when you put oil. So you first roast it on the pan, making sure it doesn't burn and removing, continuing to remove all the dirty bits. Now, for those of you who are watching for the first time, please do not forget, subscription is free. You can subscribe and you'll be able to get more of the previous videos and the ones that are new as and when they pop in. Thank you viewers who have already subscribed. I love those comments. Thank you so much. Thank you for always watching and subscribing this encourages me to make more videos for you on how to cook food easy meals at home this is an easy one for breakfast especially if you have few minutes say you have 15 minutes and you need to whip up something quick maybe you accompany it with tea or you're going to have a movie you're going to watch a movie and you need something to eat to bite on as you watch this would be a good one. You'd easily buy pop, pop them at home and have a good time with the movies. Now, when we go to the movies, we find ourselves being charged a lot of money for popcorn. But really, after popping like we are going to do, all you do is season it with whatever it is you want. If you have icing sugar and it's what you want your, to be on your corn, to make your corn sweet, you just put, um, put sieve your icing sugar and then sprinkle it as you sieve onto your popcorn. When it's still hot, it should have that sweet 
taste that you always get in supermarket in at the mall or we, when you go to the cinema and if you want it with uh, some chili you can season it with the season chili seasoning or you can uh, season your popcorn with salt after it is ready or you can season it with um, honey depending on what it is that you want but for today i'll season mine with just salt the, the sweet beet is normally loved by kids now you see you, as you can see it's starting to pop so what i do i add in the oil and then cover mix a bit and then cover it's starting to pop that means it's good now i cover now the reason popcorn is good is it doesn't take a long a long time as you can see it's popping in there and when it stops popping i take it off because then it's ready to eat see how it pops very fast because it was dried up even before i added oil it had started popping that's how easy popcorn is making at home and as for the toppings that you normally get in supermarkets it all depends on what you want if you want honey and you have it in the house you can season yours with honey if you want to put icing sugar and you want yours sweet you can season it with icing sugar you keep on shaking so that it also the small bits pop now because my my pan is got a transparent cover i'm able to see whether my corn is done or whether it's not the reason i'm shaking is so that the popped up can come up and the one that has not yet popped now i'll take off the heat and then let it sit because my my cooker is still hot so it will mean that the heat that is still in there will pop up those that are not yet popped and when you see it has stopped popping it's time to take off and plate now i've taken off my corn and got myself a bowl to put my corn that is also something you need to have at home so you can put your corn when you've made it now see how it looks inside now you pour it in if you can tell we didn't take a long time so if you tried it at home your corn should pop in no time the reason i'm using the stick to remove the popcorn i don't want the bottom bits in my corn so i just want the one which is nice nicely popped now do you see how my corn looks time for me to add some salt now you could use quarter a teaspoon I don't like my corn too salty, so I would use just quarter a teaspoon and sprinkle all over. And then you shake it, up, shake it up a bit, because this will help the salt to smear everywhere. And there you have it. This is how you make popcorn at home. If you want to use uh, honey, this is a good time when it's still hot. You can bring in the honey, you can bring in the icing sugar. You just put it in a sieve and then hit the sieve like this slowly so that all your corn gets the icing. By the time they cool, they would be sweet if you want to make sweet corn or if you want to put chicken seasoning where there is a bit of some kick chili, you can go ahead and do that. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like. Remember it's free so you can be able to get more of these videos. Thank you for watching and thank you so much subscribers and viewers. See you next time. Bye-bye.